Um, so uh, the TED power continues. Um, and um, I'm up here uh, talking on behalf of Yunsup, who is not able to be here uh, until Thursday. So I wanted to present on the CHIPS Alliance, which is a vision between really Yunsup and Zvonimir. Uh, from Western Digital, who I work with. So if you know those guys, this is uh, something that they've been uh, wanting for quite a while, and we were able to uh, bring this to fruition. So uh, really the idea is, as we talked about in different type of forms, um, it's to collaborate uh, for the benefit of hardware, where we've already seen what's happened with software. So uh, what, it, what is Chips Alliance? So it's an organization which develops um, high quality open source uh, IP, right? Open source hardware code, if you will. They, uh, some of the aspirations of the group are uh, also to really work on a lot of open source development tools. So that's uh, something that we think is also important, is the fact that, um, yes, we wanna make the uh, designs, but we also wanna put effort into developing the tools that allow even more open source development options. Uh, obviously, you need a barrier-free environment, when you think about companies that are working together, uh, if you had to try to get a three-way NDA, it takes forever, but when you form an organization, when someone has said, you know, why, why these organizations? I mean, that's part of the reason is to make it easier for, for companies to work together. Um, so <clears throat> those are some of the key points, and the, the, at the end of the day, the real benefit is that you're, you're sharing development resources, right? So once something is designed, it's there, it's validated, and, and, and everybody, all the member companies can share it. So um, some of the goals that uh, might be typical for a project, so, um, you know, again, the, develop, the development efforts that people put in for a particular project. It may be uh, some IP block and, or you know, an SOC, an open source processor, um, complex peripheral, something along those lines. And the key is we wanna make sure we go through the validation, the verification for that. And uh, once that's available, then all the end users can benefit from it. <clears throat> So that's the kind of example of what you might find. And of course, you may also have mixed in on some of these projects some software tool development, whether that's a simulator or some verification or validation tools that uh, we would also develop with the organization. Um, so these could be, again, integrated into a hardware or uh, ASIC or FPGA. Uh, right. Um, <clears throat> so. Some of the things that we're looking at are SOC IP blocks uh, based on RISC-V or just open architectures, but obviously RISC-V is a natural. Um, we're gonna be putting the Western Digital SWERF core, which we had open sourced earlier this year. We actually have made some enhancements to it and we'll be putting it into the Chips Alliance GitHub. I expect that to go in any day now. And um, so there'll be a project um, I'll actually talk about the uh, first workshop that we have next week and some of the details behind what we're doing there. We also have uh, several software development tools that we've been working on and some of the aspirational things that we're looking to do for open source development tools. And uh, we're also looking at a lot of um, what I call high value IP blocks. And these could be complex peripherals that are pretty popular that generally you have to buy today. It'd be great if we could have a lot more of these complex peripheral building blocks to share. And again, lower the cost of development across the board. Um, so generally speaking, it's going to be Verilog or System Verilog for design. And then as much as possible, we want to try to leverage open source tools. But the reality is, is certain tools, uh, the vendor companies will have to use commercialized uh, device tools. And um, it just depends on what the project specifics are. <clears throat> the organization is actually part of the Linux Foundation, and there's uh, five initial members. So it started with Google, Western Digital, Esperanto, and Sci-5. Um, Amp Micro has recently come on. We've been uh, talking with a lot of other organizations, and uh, we have, as I said, our workshop next week, and we anticipate having some additional members join. So 
uh, a week from tomorrow, I think today is Tuesday here, um, in, at Google's campus in Sunnyvale, we'll have our first workshop. <clears throat> and uh, I'll actually show you, I have uh, I cut and pasted an agenda just to give you kind of an idea of what is uh, going to be part of that discussion. Um, so there's a technical committee that is being formed, and the technical committee will basically decide for projects that are submitted which ones will be approved and move forward. Again, very much as we want to be in the spirit of what the organization is looking to implement. So if someone comes in and says, you know, I want a, uh, a JTAG controller, that's probably not going to be accepted as a standalone project. We're looking for, you know, more complex architectures where that might be part of an SOC as an example. Um, and then once the uh, project is agreed upon, there'll be a maintainer, and that person will uh, shepherd the design through and uh, provide status updates and, and so on. <clears throat> so uh, in terms of what we're doing uh, from an outreach point of view, so um, we're, we're going to be having regular workshops. The first one, as I said, is next week. Um, obviously, it's a kind of a natural for risk 5 member organizations that may want to join for CHIPS Alliance, but we're open to all organizations. It doesn't matter. Um, we're uh, also encouraging uh, individual contributors um, and universities as well. So uh, we'll, we can give you an overview of, uh, and I, I'll explain in a minute, what are some of the different options for membership. Um, so this is actually the agenda. So if you were to go to events, dot chips, chips uh, excuse me, events dot Linux Foundation slash Chips Alliance, you'll see this uh, come up, or you just events dot Linux Foundation, you'll see the Chips Alliance logo there. And so uh, this is a mixture of a couple of keynotes that we have in the presentation. Um, we have uh, a couple things, let's see if this pointer works here. Um, so uh, we have some uh, contributions based on the Swerf core that uh, will be discussed. We have, you'll see some tools here, uh, Coco TB uh, with Verilator, um, and that's a development uh, effort that's underway already with an update there. Um, we also, uh, we have uh, analog IP that's also, again, part of the overall solution. So that's the um, uh, Berkeley uh, analog generator. So again, talking about that. So these are just some of the key um, the, the key presentations that folks will be talking about will kick off the first couple of projects and uh, the organization will move forward from there. To give you kind of an overview of how it's set up, uh, it's kind of similar to the RISC-V Foundation. There's a board of directors, and I'll show you the current board in, at the next slide. Um, there's going to be a technical committee, and again, that technical steering committee will be the one deciding on where the projects are, which ones move forward. Um, and then each, each of those will have a maintainer and a team from a development point of view. Um, and then we'll have the marketing outreach committee, uh, which will continue to do evangelization and so on. So again, it's a fairly common structure. It's probably was similar to what Rick and others have talked about and had shown. So uh, nothing too radical here. Uh, this is the, um, the current organization, so there's four board members, so Yunsup, Svanimir, Dave Ditzel from Esperanto, and Richard Ho from Google. So those are the first four members of the, of the board. Um, there's um, openings for other board members. So again, if someone's interested, uh, and as we've talked to certain companies, We've had uh, quite, a, quite a few discussions. I'm the interim director until they find someone. This is only my third job, so I have plenty of time uh, to do this, as you know. Um, and the technical committee is headed up by Henry Cook, who's at Sci-5, so we're excited to have him on board. Uh, he's the right-hand man. And so this is just kind of giving you a framework for how the organization's begun and how we'll continue to build it out as we move forward. Uh, so membership, so again, it's part of the, it's a, a project underneath the Linux Foundation, so we actually have a few different tiers, um, platinum, gold, silver, and um, they will also have individual uh, auditor levels, so a lot of different levels to um, really help 
have the widest possible participation. So um, if there's uh, some interest, please, you can see me or uh, some of the other folks that are part of the, the CHIPS Alliance to have follow-on discussions. So, um, you know, I've kind of given you a quick overview, you know, the, the Why CHIPS Alliance story. Um, again, uh, it's share resources to lower the development costs. Uh, everyone who joins can also has an opportunity to contribute to open source development tools. We think that that's also a real key part of moving forward the vision of uh, all the collaboration and to make hardware collaboration a reality in the open domain. Um, <clears throat> at the end of the day, it's all about you know, putting the effort in, but also receiving this high quality SOCs, complex IP blocks, and access to those tools. Um, and you know, we really believe that everything that's been done with RISC-V, everything that's been done with Linux, all of the various open source organizations can work, and we believe that they can work in hardware, and I think that you know, you're, you're seeing just from the few different organizations that exist, that, um, that the, the different, many different companies and individuals uh, think so. Um, for more information, you can go to the chipsalliance.org website. Um, so just to kind of summarize here, um, so you know, we, we obviously, I think most folks here are big believers in collaboration in open source uh, development process. So we're looking to apply that from a hardware perspective. Um, if you are in Sunnyvale or anywhere in the Bay Area next week and you want to come to the workshop, you can just go to the events.linuxfoundation.org and uh, sign up so you can register for the workshop. And uh, if you have any other questions, please you know, talk to us. So that's, the, that's my presentation. Thank you.